For example 2, we have to find a magnetostatic field along Z axis due to a filament loop of current I. So this is the figure. You have the loop current, so the current going to the along the field directions. And we want to find what is the H field along Z axis. So what we are going to do is the first step, we have to select the current element. This is the current element. This is a sample of current. The DL is equal to in direction of phi A D phi because the radius, the, the radius is A. And let's say we take one point of interest here. We label F of R phi and Z. So we have to find what is the vector R here. The vector R is basically this, this vector and this vector plus this vector. This is a A in direction of negative R and this is Z in direction of Z. So you got R equal to minus R A plus Z Z. And the magnitude of R is a square plus z square third. The next step is we have to integrate over filament current length to get total h. So this is the formula. The h equal to the integration of i dl. This is our current element cross product with the, vet, uh, the, the distant vectors divided by 4 pi r square. So the unit vector AR equal to R, the vector R divided by R. So you got R cube here. So our I DL, the DL is basically A D phi. The direction is phi. Cross product with uh, the vector R. Unit vector R is mainly negative R A plus Z Z. And four, uh, divided by 4 pi, this is A square plus Z square power of 3 over 2. Alright, so this is a, here is the rule where phi, we got phi cross negative r and phi cross z. So phi cross negative r is equal to z by using the loop that I showing you before. And phi cross z, we got r. Okay, you go, you go back to the loop here okay uh, phi z phi negative z and so on okay basically is uh r cos phi we got z phi cos r we got negative z but phi cos negative r we got z phi cos z we got r okay so we we put we solving we solve this we got okay the H is equal to IA 2 pi Z A plus RZ divided by 4 pi A square plus Z square T over 2. Because our integration only to the direction of D phi. Okay, D phi. But we have don't have phi here. So it just, the, all the thing is just like a constant. Right? So it's more easier. Alright, so we go back to the figure. We can see that. If we take the DL opposite direction here and this the sample here contribute to the DH so basically there is a cancellation okay the, the cancellation of R component due to symmetrical behavior so this is we have seen in electrostatic so we can Simplify this into the direction of z i a square divided by 2 a square plus z square 3 over 2 ampere per meter. So basically this component will be cancelled out. But be careful, we have we can only cancel out after we do the cost product. We solve this. 